Okay, Emma, are you ready to go? Are you ready to go, Em? Almost, sir. Are you keeping your laptop flat or are you going to pick it up? I'll, put it, I'll pick it up. Okay, I'm going to just stick this through here. Well, I'm going to leave it like that now, but... That's cool. We're recording. Oh, come on in. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Right, we're ready. All right. Intro us in. Hey guys, welcome back to the Park Bench Podcast. I'm excited to be back. Are you excited to be back? Yeah, big time. I think we've uh, re and we... We know what we're we're going to step up our game. We've got these really cute, fluffy <laughs> mics. They're adorable. We've got fresh camera. We've it's all made, good. Yeah, guys, we've made a, a little bit of a change. Um, we're wireless right now. Yeah. Um, we are recording with the A7S Cuties. Mark II. Um, so it's a little bit... It's a bit better. I'm still filming yeah. in Full HD instead of 4K because it's a podcast. We don't need 4K. No. Um, and we have the Rode Wireless 2s mm. in our hands right now, transmitting so into the camera. They're so cute. What a major change. Yeah. So we didn't quite make it to a park for this podcast. Well, it's not actually park podcast. It's the park bench podcast. Yeah, and we are on a park bench that we took from a park. But we're in Joel's garden. Yeah, we thought the scenery of um, the blossom the blossom would be lovely. Um, if you'd like to see that, mm. then please go on over to YouTube if you're listening on Spotify. Mm. Uh, we thank you for everyone who listens to these videos. Um, it's much appreciated. Definitely, yeah. Well, mm. Emski, tell me. Emski. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. It's been a stressful week. Figuring out final major projects, um, lots of back and forth mm. thing, but it's going good feeling like picking it up now and oh i'm so excited spring's around the corner like the weather just these past two days has been immaculate it hasn't been like yeah. really sunny but it's just been mild with mm. small hints of sun yeah the sun and has it's been, been out so good teasing teasing yeah it's been real good mm. um, no it's been so nice but what have you so been nice. up to this last week this last week yeah um let's key let's think about that highlights. so monday went to oh well sunday was a good day yeah should we come back to that no of course not let's so it. sunday was a good day me and joel been dating for three years now <laughs> and it's good that was a slap on the leg <laughs> that was a slap <laughs> on the leg um, <laughs> <laughs> um it's been good yeah, I yeah, know, it's been great. Um, yeah, it's so been great. On Sunday, we went out and uh, celebrated three years, which was lovely. Yeah. Um, we went to Nando's. Oh, it was so good. Um, it was not so good. bougie, but real. Mm, it was in Battersea, though, and Battersea is pretty bougie. That's true. I feel like it was bougie. Like, not bougie, <laughs> it wasn't bougie. But you know what I mean? It was yeah, like a nice It was real. Nice. I really yeah. appreciated it. It was so we nice. We had a great time. We shared. Um, a sharing platter. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. A it, whole chicken it one. Was a chicken. And we whole got chicken. four sides to choose from. <sighs> so of course we did two each. Yeah. Um, it was real good. Definitely mm. would re- recommend the sharing platter from Nando's. Yeah, it's so good. You get so much for your money, and like the chicken was just so good. Yeah, we're really good. we're lemon herb people. <laughs> Bit embarrassing, but it's true. Yeah. I mean, I just. It's just nice, yeah. you know. It just tastes nice. I'm not a big spice guy, so. I like spice, but I feel like the Nando spice is just like, it just has that kind of like hit, even if it's like not that spicy. It just kind of goes up my nose. Mm, valid. But we had the mac and cheese, which is a new side. Oh, yeah. That was so good. good. It had like garlicky, crispy mm-hmm. topping. Mm. Yeah, no, that was good, actually. That was so good. I did. It. I really like that. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, we did that on Sunday, which was real good. Mm. Um. You've been in Brighton. I've been in Brighton doing my thing. Um, just went down for some appointments. But it was such nice weather. Like, it's been, I was saying, it's been really easy. Like, every time I've gone down to come back up because it's been so miserable. And when it's miserable in Brighton, there's nothing really to do. Like, it's not that fun. Mm. When it's miserable in London, it's not, sometimes it's not the best. Like, it's really soggy, but there's loads to do. 
and it's fun. Yeah, like it's London's always fun, but Brighton not so much. But this time it was a lovely, lovely sunny day, um, beautiful like still water, and it was just so so nice yeah, and I was like oh I don't really want to leave this now like I'd be fine to leave in the night but leaving when like I want to see the sunset and I had to leave mm. in the middle of the day so oh, but yeah were your, all your appointments okay yeah appointments good they took a whole teaspoon of blood from her <laughs> <laughs> so you got to <laughs> get, get, get my bloods tested do you want to see the wounds <laughs> Oh, wow, actually. They're... Yeah, it's a huge Ooh, bruise. Oh, that's quite sad. <laughs> it is quite sad. They ha- I'm really bad at blood tests. Also, <laughs> I'd run to the thing, like, as part of my running thing. That I'm basically just starting to run a little bit more. So you went on two runs, didn't you? I did half before and half after. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, so I did half. How long's half? Um, it was, like, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, nice. maybe. And then... Got my bloods tested, went in there, it was absolutely boiling in there. So, of course, I was bright red in the face, <laughs> really sweating. Got in the chair, whipped my arm out, and then I was like, <laughs> I was like, this. when she was doing it, I was like this. I was like, I was just, oh, I'm, to be fair, I'm, I'm fine. It's just like, I just don't like the feeling. Yeah, yeah, sure. But got that done, nice. done and dusted. Um, stuff's going well. And then, yeah, saw my friends, um, saw the fam, nice. did a- some work, did some good work, to be nice. fair. Yeah, yeah, so you'd had a good week. Yeah, good week. Um, good. Preparing for my school of preaching, oh, which yeah. is tomorrow to Saturday. Um, I'm writing a speech. A talk? I have talk, not a speech, oh. sermon. Yeah, so Anna's been doing a three week. Yeah, uh, it's been three weeks three so far, week yeah. Of course, um, at uh, St. Melitis Church, if you guys know it. Mm. Um, college. College, sorry. Yeah. Uh, on School of Preaching, so how to preach and yeah. uh, learning tips and having guest speakers come in and tell mm. them some stuff. And you've found it pretty good, haven't you? It's been really good. It's been quite encouraging and also quite challenging. Mm. Um, I feel like I was really thrown in the deep end because everyone had already done talks before or were doing like theology, had just more experience, older. But it it hasn't been too hard. I think I'm definitely the youngest there and most inexperienced. But like someone has to be. And like for me, like it's the experience is what you take out of it mm. like for me it's building confidence and just learning a new skill for others it's elevating what they already have yeah true true so so, so in a bit we're gonna uh i'll uh, read that we're out we're gonna listen to emma's talk she'll do a practice for all of us guys yeah um so we'll do that in a little bit mm, but how's your week been joe yeah. tell us a bit about it uh i've had quite an exciting uh some bits fulfilling some bits less fulfilling week mm. um I have been on a shoot. I was on a shoot yesterday mm. um, with the church shooting for the Easter video, mm. which was really, really fun. Oh, I'm so um, excited. What was, song is it to? Like, what song it is it was like? To, it was a re- remake. remake of um, the my Jackson 5 one, I Want You Back. Oh, great um, one. <laughs> yeah. Which was really good. And they mm. had the, they choreographed a dance. There was five of them on the stage. Yeah. Um, and then the kit, it was me, uh, Sam Dyer and Mayfield. Mm. We were filming and it was a really fun production. I was up on a uh, tall tripod with the Blackmagic 6K. Wow. Um, a 70 to 200 lens. Yeah. So I was getting kind of like the detailed shots mm. and just the more zoomed in nice but it was really 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 fun mm. uh, and also just got a bit of a feel on like how shoot days work and like mm. packing up kit packing down kit yeah uh, just then being in that professional uh workplace yeah professional so really environment fun. yeah exactly mm. so i did that um and I can't wait to see that that'll be really funny mm. uh we had uh, i think i showed you a video but we had like a a dolly so what sam was filming on what is that and he got a cool video of me doing it but it's where basically like you have like a rail rail track Mm. and then 
the cameras on top of the rail track. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so it was going like back and forth mm. across the stage. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, which is really fun to operate. Wow. Um, quite hard, actually, because mm. it's like you have to focus on so many things. But it was mm. really fun. Um, but, yeah, I've been in uni and I've got shoots for my documentary. And I actually filmed my interview today <gasps> wow. with Charlie, um, my brother. Oh, on yeah. Bridge of Gaps. Oh, cool. One. Nice. Um, wow. This mic goes on my thumb. No, I know. I really want <laughs> I've seen you do that. <laughs> it's quite fun. Um, kind of hurts. Oh, yeah, ruined your nails. Well, mine's like oh, well. tiny. Um, but, yeah, so it's been a good week. I got yeah. this new coat. Mm. Um, for you guys listening, this is a real fur coat. It's really warm, really nice. Yeah. Um, it has taken a bit of adjustment too because obviously it's real. You've got animals on you sitting on the tube this morning. I was a bit like, oh, I'm sitting next to these people. I hope they're not like judging you. Like, I'm not judging, but just like, I hope I'm not making anyone feel uncomfortable. Yeah. I mean, it's 2024. And this sort of stuff is a bit more of a... A lot more. Yeah, a lot more, like, frowned upon. But in my defence, yeah. I got it from... I got given it. Um, and it's been in the family's genera- like generations for a long time. Mm. It's, like, it's very old and, like, sort of... There's nothing you can do about it now. So yeah. this reminds me of you know in Friends when Phoebe gets that coat mailed from her mother and it's real fur. Oh really? Have I you seen that know. episode? I know where she uh, has the uh, the furniture from. Pirate no, Island. yeah, yeah, no, it's different. Anyway, if you know the episode, you know the episode. Yeah. Um. Well, what, you, what do you think about like real fur? Because obviously you were offered one. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like. I think also like being like I don't I'm not not living with my cat anymore, <laughs> so <laughs> it's not yeah, much it's not of cat. a no I know but it's like I feel like that anyways besides the point um, I think I'm mixed about it like obviously that has been five generations like it was ages ago you can't do anything about it now mm-hmm. you didn't buy it so you're not supporting it like. That would have just been thrown away if not given to you sort of thing. I mean, mm. it wouldn't have, yeah. but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so it's like, you can't do anything about it now. But then, like, if someone were to go in and buy a fur coat, they could say, oh, well, it's dead already. You can't do anything about it now sort of thing. Mm. But then I guess that is supporting it. I don't support it. Mm. No, but no, of course But I think no. there are exceptions. Yeah, and this is my one. But it's really nice. And especially when the sun was out today, I felt like mm. when it got all warm. Oh, yeah. that's so nice. I just feel like it just puts me off. Like, like there's just I just have this, like, conscience in my head, like, I can't fully enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Like... Sure. Skylar loved it. Did she? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's like a mix. It's a mixed one. I'm, I do love animals, though. Like, that's... You know that. Like, I'm very passionate about mm. animals. And, yeah, definitely. And sort of, like... Like stopping animal cruelty and stopping like hatred towards animals. Mm-hmm. Like that's what I am passionate about. So, so it doesn't really sit with my morals. Yeah. No. Definitely. Sorry. Mm, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Pookie. <laughs> oh so my gosh. Are you feeling uncomfortable that I'm wearing it right now? Not particularly. Okay. No. Um, but if I was wearing it, I would be feeling yeah, yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah. Guys, has anyone seen um, Pookie on TikTok? You won't know this, but there's this like, well, I'm gonna just, we can insert a video or something maybe. It's like Pookie is looking absolutely fire tonight. Yeah, but if you Pookie, knew it, that would be great. Pookie's like, a tr- like, it's just going round, isn't it? It's right. going round because of that. Yeah. No, it's not. Here is I promise. I Pookie promise. bat. Yeah, maybe I no, don't. Know. I've been saying that for a time. Pookie is looking absolutely fire tonight. No, someone made that from... What are you wearing? No, they actually, like... It's like two adults. They, like... she like, He, like, calls her Pookie. And she's, like... Yeah, they're, like, really, really, really rich. They're quite sweet, actually. Like, no hate. Mm, Normally, I would hate on that kind of thing. But no hate. Ooh, woo. Pookie is looking absolutely fire tonight. Pookie, tell me what you're wearing. That's kind of an egg. <laughs> so we're true. going shopping in Venice when for people, my birthday. Because nah, when people like recite TikToks, 
Such an ick. Okay. Anyways. Such an ick. So, Joe, tell us about today and tomorrow of your week. Oh. What's going? Something significant's going on, and I haven't heard about it, and I'm very curious. Mm. No, no. Fasting. Um, well, it's not really significant. I'm fasting right now. for. It's only a 24-hour fast, though. I think that's quite... Si- like, that is quite a lot if it's, like, no food for 24 hours. Like, people normally fast, like, sugar or something. Yeah, but for 24 hours, it's, like, doable. Yeah, I guess um, if you're going to wake up late tomorrow as well. Yeah, well, the, like, my reasoning behind it is... Um, one, I knew I wanted to do a fast, a 24-hour fast, mm. during Easter. I've said that the whole time. And now is quite a good time. But yeah. the reason is I wanna like I wanna like enable myself to read the Bible more. Mm. And like I so I can't read the Bible, I struggle so much. Yeah. And I just think I've got this time this evening and mm. tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow, yeah, mm. the morning. And ev- when I'm hungry I'm gonna read the Bible mm. instead of do something else. And Yeah. So it's kind of gonna like that's the reason why you do give up stuff for Lent is mm. so you can focus on God and like leaving your relationship. So, mm. um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now because, mm. like, yeah, I'm feeling good right now though. Like, yeah, you're not been, hungry. Nah, it's only been five hours. Okay. I started at quarter to one. Mm. I think you've I think you've chosen a good time. Yeah, exactly. Because like. It's not going to, like, make you ill because you're going to be sleeping and then waking up and then it's, like, you've only got until lunch sort of thing. But it's still very hard. I can do that. I feel like I'd get headaches and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Mm. I'm, I am excited. Well, yeah. I'm excited, but I'm just... I'm doing it. And also, mm. Finn did it. And that really inspired me because, oh, wow, you can just do it and, like, mm. it can be, like, a... Sorry, a, uh, like... A doable thing that you can do during your week. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so definitely want to do that and just kind of a test run. Mm. Um, but ha- Easter's Easter's nearly a, well, it's nearly Easter, so Lent's nearly. I know, yeah. It's quite exciting. How how how's it? Sorry, <laughs> uh, getting a text, guys. <laughs> how, how have you found it? I found it good. Um, I've like, I think. So I've given up sugar, no, not sugar, I've given up sweets and chocolate. And originally I was sort of kind of like giving up all sugar, like cakes, biscuits, like anything sugar. And that's kind of died off now. Like it is just sweets and chocolate now. And biscuits, like I haven't really been eating biscuits. Um, Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's going good. I find it quite easy once I get started yeah. for sweets and chocolate. Like We've do, been doing Sundays as cheat days. but Sundays as cheat not days. Not cheat day. Well, yeah. more of a treat, cheat drink. Yeah. Um, so we haven't actually eat, eaten chocolate, but we've mm. had like milkshakes on Sundays. Because you don't actually have to do it on Sunday, by the way. Um, but we like didn't want to do... We didn't want to just get Sunday and then like binge on like loads of chocolates and sweets like we wanted to keep chocolates and sweets out of the equation so we've been having like milkshakes well, i mean we've been having chocolate, chocolate yeah. milkshakes but it's not like chocolate chocolate it's pretty ben- it's, it's like it's powder good to and... keep yourself going yeah yeah, yeah. Um, um, that's been pretty good yeah i think what i want to do is take that into the rest of my life but doing like only on weekends i'll eat like chocolate or sweets or like special occasions because I find it like especially at uni when you're with your friends and you're like oh let's grab a bag of sweets and let's share it like Mm -hmm. in class because we need the energy but like when you when you say specifically only weekends it like means that when you get to the weekend you can actually have like something small and enjoy it Mm, yeah fair enough and it's like a treat I mean I'm to be fair I'm as soon as Easter's over I'm eating so much chocolate I'm not I'm trying gonna try not to eat so much but I probably <laughs> will on the first like when I'm with you we, we're gonna have a treat day oh, I'm just gonna man. eat so much chocolate and sweets and also like people have just been like wafting chocolate under my nose <laughs> yeah like, that's so true people be like oh like just got some chocolate or I mm. put this chocolate do you want it or like yeah like mum made a whole massive chocolate bar the other day yeah like, I went home and my mum had made those really nice gooey chocolate brownies. Oh, bro. Yeah. Surely you took some home. No. Just to wait it out. That's what I'm doing. I've got... Now my drawer <laughs> is getting filled with chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting out. No, I've got... 
I've got some chocolate digestives in my drawer and I've got half a chocolate orange. I found half a chocolate orange in my coat pocket, like halfway through. And I was like, ordinarily, this would be the best treat ever, surprise chocolate orange. But that's it was the worst. really, it was really sad. Why? Because like, you can eat it. Exactly. Yeah, that's, it was really sad. Um, really sad. <laughs> <laughs> what, what Easter egg have you got? Do you know? <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that. Yeah. Oh. Um, I don't want to be rude. I, I, they've got really some new ones, and oh, I'd love. I know what I've got my eye on. Let me tell you that. Well, do you want to do Easter swap? Easter swap, like Easter egg swap. Like, yeah, get each other Easter eggs. Yeah, of course, darling. Okay, hopefully, paycheck. <laughs> um, I went to buy deodorant the other day and I couldn't afford it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna buy you some. Um, oh, you cute. I took some body spray into uni today. Body spray? Yeah, to cover up Joe, you need to get some deodorant. I know. Oh, I'll buy you some. You know, I, so basically I had 45p in my account. Oh. And I had one, one pound, six pence in cash. Um, Could you not pay split? And I was going to split. I, was mm. going, I went to the shop to go split. No. <laughs> Guess how much the smallest deodorant is nowadays. What? One pound fifty five. No. <laughs> I was four p off. <laughs> Surely you could scrap for 4p around the house. No, but no one leaves cash around my house. People leave cash around my house. Yeah. And you better know I pick it up. You better know. <laughs> you better know. <laughs> Why don't you borrow some of um, Theo's? Because everyone used to use roll-on. Um, yeah. Um, would you not use roll-on? Yeah. Do you not like it? Yeah, I would. But I didn't have any. Okay, yeah. Fair well, enough. I'm not going to borrow someone okay. else's. No, <laughs> that's gross. Um, we've got some exciting topics coming up. Mm. But before all that, we are going to... Um, Listen to Emma. <gasps> oh, I'm so nervous, guys. I actually so am. So I'm actually going to go sit over there. Oh. And you're going to do it in front of me. With okay. Me in front of you. And Can I put this camera. in here? Do you think it'll still be able to hear me? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, it's meant for that. Sick, bro. Uh, yeah, clip it on. Let me grab a chair. Um, and yeah, guys, it should be fun. Let's meet walking inside. So before I start, I just want to say... I haven't actually read this before. Like, I've just finished my notes now. So, um, so I'm nervous and I'm going to be looking at the paper a lot. So don't judge me on that. Wait, can I, like, pick up the camera and record you? Yeah, I'll stand up, but not, like, close. Yeah. Actually, um, no, can you not? Can you just angle it? Yeah, it's angled fine. Okay, okay. I'll, mute, I'll mute my mic. <laughs> actually... No, nah, I'll just put it. Up also, I did watch one of Archie's videos and I took little notes. Really? Yeah, I did. Oh, that's quite cute. Yeah. Okay, uh, go for it. Oh, okay. Good morning, everyone. It's so wonderful to see you all. I'm really, really grateful to be here today. Um, if anyone doesn't know me, my name is Emma. I'm a fashion student in London and I also work part time at Waitrose. Today I'm going to be preaching on the parable of the wise and foolish builders and how Jesus calls us to take action in our own lives to be obedient to his word. So if you all want to turn to Matthew 7, 24 to 27, we can read this parable of the wise and foolish builders. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house. But it did not fall, because it, had, it was on a firm foundation. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. The message that Jesus is trying to portray to us in this parable is that he wants us to be obedient to the teachings and examples that he shows us. And through this, we can build a firm foundation on him. In the story, we see a wise man puts, his, puts Jesus's words into practice. He listens, he learns, and he's obedient to everything that Jesus says. But the foolish man hears the exact same words, yet dismisses them. He doesn't put them into practice, he doesn't learn, and he isn't obedient, leading him to struggle when troubles come. 
to give you guys a little bit of context to what happened just before this, um, we will go to verse 21 where Jesus says, not everyone says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. So what does this tell us about being obedient to Jesus' word and building a firm foundation on him? Well, building a firm foundation requires relationship. We can't build this firm foundation by asking and asking for and receiving generous blessings because that is a purely one way because that is a purely one way relationship. Relationship and intimacy with God has to be open at both ends. We can't expect to have good relationship with him if he openly comforts us comforts us, answers prayers and blesses us when we ask but we are closed off to living a life he calls us to and being obedient to his will. A one-way relationship restricts us from receiving full life with him, leading us to only be able to receive a fraction of what he has to offer. Uh, last year I was living in Brighton um, studying my A-levels. I did economics, graphic design and geography and by far geography was the one I hated. I found it very boring and very difficult and I will never forget when we did the unit's coastal erosion. It was horrible. I hated it. I remember thinking when is this going to end? It is so boring and I never ever thought I would ever need to use it in my life until now. When we were learning about coastal erosion, we were talking about how rock, like big cliff edge or big rock, um, gets weathered by various different erosional processes. I'm not going to bore you with it all. But essentially, the big rock cracks and falls to the ocean floor, where it's weathered, fur weathered further, um, and it becomes into a smaller rock, then a stone, then a pebble, and hundreds of years on, it will become into sand. When we live a life where we just call Lord, Lord, where we just ask and receive, it doesn't mean that he ignores us and we're not living a life with him. It just means that we only get to receive a fraction of what he has to offer because we're not obedient to his word. Even though we live a life with him, we may still live a life like the foolish builder who built up his life on sand. When we put our lives and trust on just receiving, we only have a fraction of what God has to offer. Troubles come and we are shaken because we don't know him fully. We don't have that relationship and intimacy that builds a firm foundation and gives us the strength to get through. When we are obedient and we live a life like a wise man, it doesn't mean we have a free pass to an easy life. As we see in verses 25 and 27, the wise and the foolish man went through the exact same situation, the exact same struggles and the exact same difficulties. But with obedience, we have access to a full, deep and intimate relationship with God and he becomes our rock. You, you finished? I finished. <laughs> well, do you want to wrap it up? So thank you. Okay, yeah, sorry. Thank you so much for listening um, and I hope that you can take this away and um, be able to um, lean into Jesus' teachings and um, try to be more obedient. Amen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well Amen, no. Thank you. How, how, how do you think that went? It went well. I think I need to add my own personal story, which I did put in there, mm. but I didn't say it for time's sake because we only have five minutes. Nice. I think it was good. Um, I should have recorded your time, to be fair. Mm. Um, I think, yeah, you did really well. Yeah? Um, I, you spoke really confidently, which was great. Oh, good. Um, I mean, it, once you, I would be great if you can, like, look at your notes much less. Yeah, I mean, I, that's the first time I've read it yeah, out loud, so I had to look. That was but good. Yeah, like, once you, like, are able to read the first part of a sentence, mm. then you and get the whole point from that. Yeah. That'd be really good. Mm. Um, but you did really good. And like, for example, when you're speaking about the corrosion bit, mm. uh, you you were really sort of like confident and not looking at your notes and yeah. direct with that bit. Because I know you know that. So Yeah, exactly. Um, that was really, really good. So in future, guys, we are going to be starting up a um, new releases mm. segment where we're going to be talking about new releases of 
uh, shoes and clothes and all sorts of things. Yeah. Um, we're going to take turns on who brings the new releases. Mm. Um, Does that so mean you're next week because this one was cancelled? No, I've done my week. <laughs> um, so get excited to listen and watch that. Watch will be a big factor of that. Mm. Um, the last segment ASMR. before we go, and it's drinking right now, um, is going to be a... I'm going to Soul Cycle again No, next we're week. not talking about Soul Cycle. <laughs> is a yes or no, dope or no. Dope or no. Dope or no, all right. No, not dope or no. Let's say green you, light, red light. Okay, do you get to, like, give a reasoning? Uh, yeah, we can talk about it. Okay. All right. So basically this is going to work, I'm going to give it an MO subject and oh, we're yeah. going to decide uh, light on, light off, so slash, do, uh, what is it, green light, red yes light. Yes or no. Green light, red light. All right. Hit First or miss. Off, actually, this is a bit of a coincidence. Nando's. Oh, hit. Typically, yeah. I would say no until the other night. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. All right. Um, it's really good. I'd agree. It's just like that food that you're always going to love. Yeah, sure. Like you go there and you know that there's going to be something and you're going to really enjoy it and be really full. Yawn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. The dentist. I'm going to the dentist next week. Um, I haven't been in like five years, so. Yeah, I, you're, that is a huge uh, red light for me. I hate the dentist. I don't mind it, but I just don't really care. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like I brush my teeth. When I start getting problems, I'll care, but, okay. like, for now. So what are you saying? Do I, is it, do I like it or do I care? No, it's just red, red light, green light. Like, as a whole. Yeah? Okay, green light. I mean, it's a good thing. It's NHS. All right. Clarks. Red light. Red light, yeah. Yeah, but as work shoes, I mean, I heard they're pretty good. Red light for me. Yeah, I think Maybe. you just go to M&S. Yeah, right. Do you know what I mean? Like, why okay. do they have to be expensive from Clark's? Tattoos. As a whole. Ooh. Yes, if they're meaningful. But as a whole... No. Green light, red light. Red light. I'm going to go green light. Really? Yeah. I like them if they're meaningful. Actually, I'm going to go green light as well. Green light. You know tattoos, yeah. I like tattoos. All right, the theatre. Green light. I think it's a nice experience, but it can be boring. But, like, if it's, like, a special... Like, I think because I've only been to the theatre a handful of times, it's always a good experience. Mm. Like, I enjoy it. I make a good time out of it. Yeah, green light. It's a good It's a good industry. Yeah. It's exciting. Theatre um, kids, though. A bit weird. My cousin's a theatre kid. Which one? I'm not going to name drop her. Wait, just take the mic away and tell me. Yeah. Yeah. I make my point. <laughs> no, come <laughs> on, bro. I'm sorry if you're watching. Um, eating in the car. <gasps> green, like, green, green, green light. Green I love car. eating in the car. Nom, nom, like, nom. take away. Like yeah. McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although it does oh. smell, but it's like good vibes. You know, when it's really dark and you're on your way up to Wales and you get a McDonald's in a drive thru and it's raining. Li- not everyone has your life. Bruh. <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to give it red light. Really? I prefer just to eat it and then get in the car. It's just cramped. Your mm. fries are slipping off I your lap. I know what you mean. <laughs> All right. I love sweets in the car, though. Mm. Platted beards. Woo. Red light. Red light. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, what about just big beards, like bushy beards? Um, it depends, like the vibes. Yeah. Like if you're like carpenter style, you know, like that kind of like, like fashion style. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but mm-hmm, otherwise enough. no. All right, running on the treadmill in the gym. Mm, yeah, I do like that because for some reason I always run faster and longer. Fair enough. It's easier, isn't it? It's nicer to be outside. It's easier running around. But it's just it? easier, yeah. Like, that's why you run further. Yeah. So. Well, um, no, I put, like, incline on and stuff. It's just, like, the vibes of being in a gym, Yeah, you know? it's still easier. 
Yeah. The floor's don't moving have, like, away from me. Yeah, and you don't have like <laughs> the wind. And um, I'm gonna give her. A, mm, mm, it's it's good warm up. Yeah. Green light. Um, that's all I've got. Should I do some? Have you gotten some in your head? Um, baths. <laughs> Green light. Green light. Um. Ooh. Um. Takeaway pizza, like from a like pizza shop, but you order it. Uh, green light. Mm. Cool. Green light. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Got any more? Um, hospitals. Hospitals. Um, <laughs> uh, green light. I guess I don't really like them, but no, same. They're pretty good. Blood tests. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna wrap. Red up. light. Um, it's dark now. Luckily, we got some light. It's dark. Um, we appreciate Whoa. you guys tuning in. We're sorry we missed the segment mm. about uh, this girl uh, about the shoes, but you mm. guys will be able to see that. And um, thanks for tuning in. Got anything last to say? Um, <laughs> I Benz. just read that as cocks. <laughs> Bonky, you're crazy. Bonky, you crazy. Pookie, you're looking absolutely fire in Shut your up. in I, your fur. I, 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 we I, love I, you. Bye. <laughs>